Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel and today we will be unboxing two beautiful sneakers. So let's open them up. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, I would highly uh, request for you guys to, of course, follow me in my channel. Of course, subscribe here push that notification bell right down there and you'll be notified in my new videos and of course if you can follow me over at my instagram account i usually post their updates on what i am currently wearing and i'm what i'm currently reviewing so check out my instagram account for more updates so guys right in front of me are two beautiful white box and of course let's start off first with this box i know you know this symbol i'll just put this down in a bit because this one is actually a very nice sneaker i was kind of surprised by how nice the details are in this sneaker but let's open this box first of course this has a lebron box of course lebron name on this side if you can see it there lebron then on the side are the sizes nike on the other side and of course lebron logo on top it's a pull out box which is very nice especially if you're gonna stack your sneakers when you're stacking it on top of each other you don't need to remove the sneaker on top and just pull the drawer out then you're good to go so this comes with the orange detail in the box with the lebron logo there Damn guys, this is the LeBron 9 in the Galaxy colorway. This Galaxy colorway came out actually a couple of years ago. I think back in 2012 or 2011 if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't have this pair so I was really happy that I was able to cop this colorway. I have the colorway of the LeBron Nines before, which is on the just a gray colorway. So I used that a lot and I actually broke them down. I played them to the ground until this part of my LeBron Nines really was like there was some cat who scratched the entire part or this material on the LeBron 9 because it's more of a weave. So I really used my LeBron 9. I really had fun playing with the LeBron 9 because the tech on the LeBron 9 is it has four foot zoom here around this area while at the heel of course there's the air max unit that you can see on this galaxy colorway and my first initial impression based on how i remembered my lebron 9 back then is this air max seems to be a lot softer compared to the old air max 180 that i had on my lebron 9s the feel of the forfeit zoom was kind of similar to the original lebron 9s but on the air max side this feels a lot softer compared to my previous lebron 9s back then when the galaxy colorway released it was really hype it's really hard to find a pair for the galaxy collection that nike released during that year the colorway of this galaxy features some red orange on this top part of the galaxies on this fuse mesh upper while on the details, it has bright orange, which you can see on the side panels of the LeBron 9s, which is also very well fused. It has a lot of fusing from the forefoot going to the entire part of the LeBron 9s to give you extra support and durability to the material. And while this weave part also is a red orange color, well, the nice thing about this LeBron 9s in the Galaxy colorway is, of course, the details of the Galaxy, which you can see on this plastic plate here, the stability plate in the middle of the sneaker. And you can also see some Galaxy detail on the tongue part of the LeBron 9s. And also in the inner lining of the LeBron 9s, while this padding on their ankle it's also made out of that bright orange detail. So you can see it inside the whole Galaxy print. And another main highlight of the LeBron 9 Galaxy colorway is of course, it is glow in the dark. I'll just charge it a bit. And you can see the outsole glowing there. Yeah, it's a full on glow in the dark outsole 
And as for the traction of the LeBron 9s, I haven't played with them, but they seem very promising here in my floor when I was trying them out. If you are basing it to the other LeBron 9s that came out, the traction is really, really good on the LeBron 9s. Overall, the LeBron 9's Galaxy colorway is a sure, sure eye catcher. If you plan to rock this on court, you will surely grab attentions off your teammate and your opponent. Plus, it is a very steady performer in my opinion. It's a very responsive sneaker. Very, very nice cushion setup from the four foot bounces of the Zoom. And of course, the Air Max unit on the back for impact protection. Of course, the traction is really, really dependable. But the only, I think, downside of the LeBron 9 in the Galaxy colorway is it is worth 12,000 pesos, so it's not cheap at all. But if you're a LeBron fan, this is a must in your collection, in my opinion. And right now, it is available at Nike.com and Titan 22 here in the Philippines. So if you're interested in the LeBron 9 Galaxy, go drop by on those sites. And as for the sizing of the LeBron 9s, go true to size. I'm a US 11 in mostly of my Nike sneakers and US 11 2 on the LeBron 9 Galaxy. If you're a wide footer, I would suggest go half a size up. So that's it on the first unboxing that we are doing right now. And let's open this up. As you can see there's some koi here in the front part of the box. Actually, these are two boxes. There's magnet in between. So let's remove the sleeve. So the sleeve is a very nice transparent sleeve with blue hints on the plastic. Look at that koi. Ang ganda, ang ganda na design. The design is really nice detail. And as you can see on the middle is of course Clay Thompson's logo. So this is a Clay Thompson sneaker. And of course, this is a koi colorway. And man, this is not just a colorway, guys. It is a completely different sneaker compared to the regular KT7 that released earlier. But let's discuss and appreciate the box first. You can see the skills here on the box, which of course is a symbol for the Chinese culture and Clay Thompson here and some Chinese characters here in the inner part of the box. I don't know how to read that anymore. I'm actually, I have an idea, but I'm not too sure. But if you know that, let me know what it means. And there's Koi at the bottom. Let's open them up. I believe this is Yi. Yi is a fish. I think this is Koi. It means Koi. Let me know if I'm correct, guys. I'm sorry, I haven't practiced my Mandarin for quite some time. And it opens up like this and let's reveal it guys look at that look at this koi colorway of the kt7 if you have been following this channel you know my review on the kt7 is really really nice it's a solid performer especially for those people who likes excellent stability support lottery of course the stability plate and support plate that goes around the entire KT7 is really, really nice. It's very, very dependable. It has a very nice balance, stability. The outsole is really wide. So let's just discuss a little bit of the performance of the KT7. Just a little summary. So the stability is very nice. Wide base for shooters especially. Plus, of course, the nitro-injected foam that the KTs are using. It's a full length. It is very, very bouncy, very responsive too. Very nice impact protection in the heel. I mean, excellent overall performer on the KT7. I'm really having fun playing with the KT7. And of course, the traction, guys. The traction on the KT7 is very, very dependable. It grips really nicely, even on dusty floors. And you can even hoop with this outdoors too. And as for the traction of the KT7 in the Koi colorway, let's discuss that first. You can see the transition from white going to blue here. Blue green, so it signifies, of course, water. And it's a really nice design on this colorway. Look at that. And then the transition from white to blue. And of course, the main highlight of the Koi colorway is, of course, the upper part design of the Koi colorway, which you can see 
the colors of koi and the materials that they use here are more fused more plasticky so it can mimic the skin of a koi which is very shiny and it looks like it has water especially this part if you can see this part it has a very nice 3d effect to it if you can see it from the camera but on hand it's like even on the other side this one is a little bit holographic when you look at the sneaker in different angle it has some um, water effect like the orange is kind of moving so it's really really nice guys i thought it was just a solid orange on top but i don't know if you can see it from the camera but when you're looking at it you can see the orange kind of moves so that gives you that water effect and of course like i said the materials on the regular KTs are usually some textile and there's one KT that I have which has some fusing but not as fused as the upper on this Koi colorway which covers mostly the entire sneaker except for this tongue part and of course another highlight of the Koi colorway in the KT7 is this BOA lacing system so it's laceless so you pop it if you want to loosen the lacing and if you want to tighten it just press it down and rotate it you can hear that click and you can see the boa tightening the entire upper of the sneaker and pushing your foot down to the footbed the boa system has a very nice placement on it so it covers a lot more surface area on your foot thus giving you a better security or a better fit to the sneaker so it covers a lot of areas on your foot that's why it will give you a very nice fit on the kt7 koi colorway there's some more designs of the koi here the black part of the koi of course koi usually has um of course the red orange the black the white and you can see at the base of this white you can see the scales of the koi so in the chinese culture koi really means of course good luck as you can see all at the back part of the heel too and another surprise on this kt7 is of course this keychain that comes with it and it's a really heavy metal keychain it's not those cheap kind of keychain it's really really nice so at the back of course in the front let's if you can see that it's a koi then the same chinese characters you can see on the box here it's a golden keychain plus the pull tab has of course some chinese characters in the pull tabs and even on the front pull tabs too so man really surprised with this koi colorway i was actually just gonna take a peek i wasn't planning on buying because i have two kt7s already but when i saw this sneaker up close the details i mean i'm not exaggerating guys the details are really on point the price on the Koi colorway is 10,000 pesos because of the BOA lacing system that they upgraded and of course the materials that they use here is extra special on this Koi colorway and man if you have the chance to drop by Glorieta here in Manila they open up a new store Anta I mean open up a new store here in the Philippines it's over at Glorieta Makati that's where they launched this koi colorway so if you have the chance to drop by and you like this colorway as much as i do and if you're lucky enough if there's still sizes available because there's only one piece per size i believe on the bigger sizes and there's a lot more sizes on the 8 8.5 i think and 9 so drop by if you can there's only 12 pieces of this koi colorway and I mean, you won't regret this if you are, of course, a Clay Thompson fan or if you're an Anta fan. If you want a solid performing sneaker, this is a must try. As for the sizing of the Koi colorway, it's the same as your regular KT7 Go US 11 true to size. But if you're a wide footer, go a full size up if you're above 10 because there's no half size above 10. But if you are lower than 10, there's a 9.5, there's an 8.5 there's a 9.5 and there's an 8.5 so that's it on my unboxing of these two beautiful sneakers let me know if you have the chance to cop between these two 
Let me know which one you would choose and tell me why. So this has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.